What's going on guys? It's your boy Death here and today we're going to be playing some more Until Dawn. Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. No! Shit! First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah? That feels the same to me. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. Yeah, when are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? What the fuck? I mean, I like it when it shows it from like. Yo, yo, yo! We get things moving up here, or what? Yeah, man. The antagonist perspective. Huh? Uh. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it, and I just I want us to have a good time. You know. Like we always used to. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hi, Chris. You doing all right? Yeah. Aside from being kind of cold and vaguely creeped out by this place. It's, it's kind of weird being back up here, huh? Yeah. She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Bruh. Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, you're not gonna bang her. Maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off already? Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. <sighs> Damn. I mean, reality, I would disagree, but I don't think that the characters in this, I mean, they, they seem like stereotypical teenagers. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. 
But also, I kind of feel bad for that dude. Uh, fuck, what was his name? Josh? Yeah, Josh. Oh, right. Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Fuck that. Did I do that? I don't, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. Well, what, what is it? Okay, so... I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's a, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Fuck nope, it. But I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. All right. Well. Yay, darkness. Oh fuck! Is this a totem? Lost totem. Fuck. We just started the. Just a rat. It jumped me though. Oh, yo, I got a funny story though. Ah, uh, maybe I won't say it in this episode. Maybe. I don't know. All right. So pretty much. Oh. Huh. That's cool. Family portrait. Well, yeah. So I went into our bathroom, and I guess a mouse got up because our, our basement downstairs. Fuck that. All right, I'm gonna pause the game for a second. But pretty much, um, I guess our window downstairs was open, and I, I'm gonna assume a mouse got in through there. It made its way up the stairs because usually our cats, you know, they come in through the window because they're inside and out, like they're indoor outdoor cats. And um, we usually open the basement door to let them in, not really thinking too much about it. Uh, and I think the mouse man got through, and it was t it was a tiny little thing. And uh, right next to the basement door, what was that? there was the uh, there's the bathroom. So I guess I w I went in there to use the bathroom. And I didn't even, you know, get to go to the bathroom. I had my pants down. And then this fucking mouse drops from the ceiling right in front of me. And it's just staying there. It's just staring me down. I'm not wearing any pants. And I just slowly stand up, start pulling my pants up. And this fucking mouse loses its shit and starts running around the room. I was fucking out of there. I wasn't having none of that. But we don't have a big bathroom, it's like a tiny little thing. So, yeah, that mouse starts losing his shit, running around the floor. Uh, no, I was out of there. 
That else was all right though. Uh, we had my dad come and get it out, and it wasn't harmed, and we let it go, and it was it fucking ran into the tall grass. I doubt it survived though, because my cats do hunt. Is that did that door close? Or did I close it? Or is that not even where the... Fuck, man. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, yo. Yeah, interactive object. What do I do? Okay. Oh, good. Light. You know, I know it's supposed to be, like, all eerie, but I actually find darkness on, like, a snowy night very calming. I'm not sure if you guys have ever, if, I'm not sure how many of you guys have seen something like this. The fuck? One new message. New message. Hi, Mrs. Washington, this is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. That cliche detective accent. Oh yeah, so I'm not sure if you, uh, many of you guys have seen this, but on like, I guess, winter stormy nights kind of ordeal. Maybe not even storms, just kind of like calm snowfall. I really like the color of the sky. It's like all purple, like very light purple. God, that is like the most calming feeling ever. And living in Maine, I see a lot of that shit. Oh, there's a door. Yeah, that's uh, not gonna open. Am I going down somewhere? Cause I'm not liking that. You know, it'd be better if I could actually see where I was going. Wasn't I here before? Yeah, I was here before. That was the phone. This fucking house. I don't know what all this satanic, like, whispering I hear is all about, though. You guys hear that? It's fucking weird. It's almost like uh, the Ring Wraiths from uh, Lord of the Rings. Hey, didn't I already try that? I'm just going backwards now.
just where do I go? Wait, stairs. Duh. That window. That's interesting. the creaking cut it out man uh there it is flames are alive. Fuck! 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 fuck oh shit oh fuck that Freezing our buns off out here. <laughs> oh, what a nice callback to our previous conversation. Oh my god, fuck that shit. Fuck that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, he's just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby, don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Bear or tiger? Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? Not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. What the hell were you doing with M out on the trail? What? I saw you and M. The telescope. Before? We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Is that against the law? Watch yourself, Mike. I mean, I don't really distrust him. He's kind of a douchebag. But I don't know. Right. Yeah. Uh, sorry, it's been kind of a long day. I overreacted. Nah, man. Don't worry about it. Be cool? Yeah, yeah, totally. Territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me with your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Um... I mean, Emily did kind of start it. Em, come on. No, shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Oh, you're the only one who can put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such a bitch. Whatever. 
I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. Honor roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Jessica, you need to shut your mouth, okay? No. You're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. Are we about to get real? Because I am down to get real. Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for ten minutes, then maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Alright. Wanna go do that? Any place without that whore. Hey, You're a real bitch. Right up the trail. <sighs> well, that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do I... Do you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. Then we can get warm? We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay. Thing didn't lie, she's very manipulative. I need to take a rest. I'm so tired. Any water. <laughs> How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars! You're gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. Oh my god. Oh, I think I just messed up the microphone. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode there, guys. So I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Zeth, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.